In this assessment, we're asked to give the product of two different McLafferty rearrangements for the molecule shown on screen. To set up the confirmation required for the McLafferty's, I've gone ahead and redrawn these in that form as the radical cation. And so we can see that this hydrogen is going to be the one that's removed in this McLafferty rearrangement, a six electron cyclic transition state that looks like this. We get that the movement of those six arrows. And we know that arrows tell a story. The, the story they're telling here is going to be the formation of this enol, which remains as the radical cation, and this neutral alkene. These are the two products of this McLafferty rearrangement. We can do the same thing on the other side. Now this one's already set up in terms of its conformation. We just had to draw in the, the hydrogen. And so we can draw the same kind of mechanism. This is going to once again give us an enol on one side. Two, three, make sure our carbons are right. That we can assume stays as the radical cation. On the other side, we're going to have a three carbon alkene. Three carbons to give us the total number of carbons. These are the products of the two different McLafferty rearrangements.